Morning, everyone. Um, Ed Bates here from Kill with Chiropractic. Um, I just popped into the, the office because um, our uh, internet at home is so dire, which is, 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 is a whole different story. Um, but anyway, um, here is my daily dose um, of vitalism. Um, and the tip today is simply to ensure that you get adequate vitamin D. Now, interestingly, although um, vitamin D is categorized as a vitamin, it's actually a hormone. Um, but semantics aside, it is absolutely essential for your health. Um, it performs numerous functions within the body, um, including um, roles such as calcium absorption, which is useful for proper bone development. Um, it's also used in muscle action. Um, it assists in the regulation of cell growth. Um, and significantly at this time, um, it enhances immune function. Um, it also helps regulate inflammation and amongst other things, uh, also assist in the action of insulin. So suffice to say, it is pretty essential. And how do we ensure that our bodies have adequate amounts of vitamin D? Well, one way is using sunlight. Um, as vitamin D um, can be made by the cells in your body um, in a process that involves the conversion of cholesterol deriv derivatives into vitamin D using sunlight. However, in order to get the daily requirement of vitamin D from sunlight, you would need to have direct sun exposure on your arms and your legs for a minimum of 10 to 15 minutes per day, which obviously is a slight challenge at this time of year. In fact, um, a lot of research is suggesting that our lack of sunlight could be one reason why the flu season exists between December and March. So, because we're now living in the Northern Hemisphere and are deprived of sunlight, we must therefore find ways of replacing the sun as a source of vitamin D. And probably the best known and well recognized and most recognized way is to consume cod liver oil. Um, so that is your tip for today. Get outside as often as you can, make the most of whatever daylight is available and take a vitamin D supplement. So that's all I got for you this morning. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy and we'll see you tomorrow.